Hi everybody, my name is Scott Weinkiewicz. I'm a professional photographer and educator, and I created Classable, classable.co, so I can educate both the educators and the students and the public speakers about how to better utilize this virtual education technology. <music> In the public school space, most teachers and students are using Google Meet or Zoom. Of course, there are other platforms out there, but that is the most common that you'll find that either your, your child's teachers will be utilizing because that's what the school requires, or that something else, that just for whatever reason, most people are flocking to Google Meet or to Zoom. Now, in this video, I want to show you that you can actually do a multi-cam experience, meaning if you are teaching something and you need to have a good view of yourself and then maybe a view of your classroom and then maybe an overhead view of uh, like a document camera or something like that, so you need something overhead, you can do this with making it easy so that all you have to do is have one user logged in into your account to your Google Meet or your Zoom instead of having your computer logged in, your desktop, and then your, your, your laptop, and then your tablet, all different things logged in at once. You could literally do it where it is just one and you use what's called multicam, meaning you plug all these cameras into your computer using either a hub if you need it or just all the USB ports that you have in your machine as is. And that uh, is what you switch. You switch which camera is using. And the benefit of this is you can have one setup, very simple, and you can switch it on the fly when you need it. You can have a good microphone if you need to. You could actually turn the microphone if you're gonna be in a different part of the room, whatever it is. In fact, you could even do this with audio. If you want a second mic, you can get a USB microphone and you can switch the audio you want, which I'll also show you in a minute. So first thing you can see, I'm in Google Meet. What I'm about to show you works the same if you're doing Zoom. It's just the location of where you change the video settings or the audio settings is in a different spot on Google Meet than it is on Zoom, but the principle is the same. So here I am in Google Meet and I've got a live presentation open, I'm chatting. You would see the grid of everybody if you were in Zoom or Google Meet. Now, if I want to switch, right now I'm using a Nikon Z6. This is a professional digital camera that I'm actually using as a webcam. If I wanted to switch to, let's say, a, a built-in webcam. So on my iMac I have, and most MacBooks and Chromebooks, they all have these webcams built into the computers. So if I want to switch, I just go to more options, settings, and then go to the video settings, and I would switch from the Nikon camera to the built-in FaceTime camera. And now you can see low quality, different angle, it's a different camera, and all. I didn't have to switch what computer I was using, I just literally switched the camera in use. And you can see if I was to click this, that there's a bunch of different cameras. Uh, there's some I don't use on a regular basis that I experiment with and uh, beta testing, and then, of course, there's the ones that I do use. Now, let's say you want a document camera. You can use something like an external webcam that right now, right now I have an external webcam. I'm looking up at that right now, and it's literally just sitting on top of a screen. But if I wanted to, don't mind the mess on my desk. <laughs> I've got cables and devices all over the place to show you this. You can see that I've got that, and my microphone is over here, but I can bring it into screen a little bit to get it closer to me to talk better. But I could actually mount this to something if I wanted to and have it used as a document camera, which would be really nice if you were trying to demonstrate that. But if we go back to the settings and we go to video again, I'm going to show you one more. I have a camera that's meant for live streaming, but I could actually use that as a webcam. It is very wide. Let's move that microphone out of the way. And you can see that I've got that as a webcam as well. I have it just sitting on a desk right on my desk right now. Again, don't mind the mess. A little dusty too. But there you go. I just switched one, two, three, four. Four different webcams. And I didn't have to switch computers or anything. It's just done. Now, if you wanted to, you could actually do this with audio as well. You just go to the audio setting and you have your microphone right here. And I could easily switch which microphone is being used. And as you can see, I've got a bunch more options because of various software uh, being being tested and utilized, but I've got a bunch of options, including 
my webcam, my external webcam can be audio as well as my live streaming camera, which is currently being used as a webcam, can also be used as a microphone. But I prefer the microphone that you see right here. This is the Blue Yeti microphone. It's actually a professional USB microphone, which sounds really nice as you can hear. Uh, and I can mount it on a table or I can have it on a boom arm like this. If you're teaching in a school space, of course, you probably wouldn't have this in a boom arm, but you can use the stand that it comes in and just turn the microphone and then you have it on wherever you, wherever you need in the room, you could uh, aim that microphone to and have good audio. So for anybody who is in the education space and you need a multicam setup, this is a very easy thing to do. All you need is a couple webcams and you don't need anything too expensive. You don't have to do what I have. I do live streaming and webinars and photography and video creation professionally. So uh, I need the, the higher quality things. You as an educator do not need the super high quality things. Find a webcam that's on sale and just utilize that. If it can be mounted on a tripod, it means you can mount it pretty much anywhere you need and you can have a multi-cam experience. I hope you find that helpful. And if you'd like to find more content or you want to contribute content yourself, classable.co. See you there.